Pretty exciting as we look into heat number one of the round of 16. Jack Robinson versus Mateo Hurdy. Robinson, number two in the world, just his second season full time on the championship tour and famous for back to back wins. We've got 16 surfers in the round of 16. That's what we call it, that eight of them representing Brazil. Yeah, and a lot of them are in that first side of the draw. So they're going to be a, a little bit of friendly fire as we see Mateus getting started. Nice timing for a backside hack to try to get an early start against Jack Robinson. So this is it. You're able to utilize the jet ski assist. These lefts are going to be very hard with the size of the swell, a little bit bigger, a lot of water moving around. It's easier for them to come in, grab that ski. It's going to drop you off at a buoy out there in that right channel and suck you right out into the ocean. I would say probably feeling a, a little better about the conditions today than say that what we were going to do um, two days ago, being there was only about head high. Now being six feet, this is right up Jack's out. For a world title at the Rip Girl WSL Finals. Up and out is Mateus Hurdy, 3.33 on his opener. And it looks like we might have another opportunity for Mateo staying really active at the start of this heat, just throwing away a punt. Look like he's going for the shove it. And I expect it from these guys in this heat. Mateus Hurdy able to just take a look, but he's got to step off. You can just tell how motivated he is just to get a score quickly over Jack Robinson. It's a lot of water moving today, a lot more power in the water. We'll see how they, they fare with their different choices of boards. Hey, Strider, how about uh, fins? What do they got for fins in those things? They're both riding the same fin. Exactly. Thanks so much, Strider, for the BF Goodrich pit check as we see Jack Robinson backhand float. See the backwash lifting the face of that wave, and that'll make him kind of bobble that backhand turn. He's coming off the sandbank. And now a nice clean start for Mateos. Driving into the lip again with a solid connection. And now we're really finding out where the crowd stands in this one. As we check out Mateos here. The replay here. I mean, again, second wave of the set, so a little cleaner on the face. He wasn't going to make any mistakes there by going into the lip, back to back, nice quick snaps. Not going to be a gigantic number, but most likely the best number of the heat. He does have the 3.33. Ultimately, you do not want to carry a three in your two-wave total in a 35-minute heat. One of the things about Mateus is that he is not shy to be a bit of a showman. You know, he'll he'll play up that crowd, and I think it's a good idea. You know that this crowd's going to be vocal, and ultimately, play it up. Get them to be more vocal. So if you go by on the ski, you know, throw a little fist pump and look at the crowd. He's had a lot of heats that uh, have been slow starts and somehow finds a way to get a win in. And he'll hit the back half of the heat, watch out. Jack Robinson looks like he's got some clear water. Starts with a float again. And he'll end up being late for a combo. Again, right off the bottom there, you saw after he came off the floater, that little hitch where his heel caught the water. And find another board. He did it in like two minutes. Oh, we see what great. happened here. So that point there you saw, it was definitely, it wasn't even a hitch of the rail. It was literally going over the backwash and literally that board, the leash wasn't even attached at that point at all. It didn't even tug. As we see paddling into this one, Mateus Hurdy didn't really get a wave while Jack was on the beach and nothing really changed to the score line. Ooh, that was a bit of a mistake for Mateus there because uh, Jack does have priority now. Mateos trying to roll in quickly to recover from that mistake. Nice stretched out bottom turn, staying soft, so he'll just fade quickly and out. Nothing really changing there. Situation remains the same, down to 16.20 on the clock. Work on the leash string from Jack Robinson's support crew as Mateus Hurdy is in motion. Hard off the bottom, hitting it with the backwash. He got a little extra lift that he probably didn't want because it took away that final turn. As you watch this replay here, nice glide there, good projection off the maneuver, carrying his speed very well. Would have loved to have gotten another snap there, but then look at that, right with the white water and the backwash all at the same time. Can't pull it off, and he needs to get his second score here to apply even further pressure and could conceivably put Jack into a, a combo situation. He, either way, I think Jack understands in this next 15 minutes he needs to get two solid waves against a competitor such as uh, Mateus Herity. But that backside snap, lipper that he did there, where he was able to utilize and pressure against the lip, getting projection. So he actually picked up speed out of the maneuver, which generally is... 
Checking out live action. Jack Robinson goes off the bottom under the lip hook. Goes in complete. As he had a great setup off the bottom on a chunky section. As we continue on with action. Robinson cracking it hard in the pocket. He's got the end section. Quickly approaching. Stays on his feet for a two-turn combination. That's all he needed right there. What adversity he goes through in a matchup. One more look here, Pete. Oh, that was a meaty section. So again, judges will like the fact that there is a criticalness to that final section. First turn there, but look at, see all the water in that one? And he executes that maneuver on the lip. So of course, that degree of difficulty happens much higher when you're doing your maneuvers in the lip like that. Looks like we've already got an opportunity setting up for Mateos from Florinopolis. Quick whip in the pocket. Little downtime, but back into some open face. There's a aggressive carve and he'll fade out. So a totally different looking wave compared to what Jack just had. He had a much bigger wall, bigger sections. Like the first turn, this is probably the best turn of this wave. In the lip again, like I'd mentioned, you gotta do those maneuvers. When the lip is coming down and attack it, but this wave shoulders off really quickly. So not a whole lot of points in that second snap. But there again, look at how he's underneath his board, he gets his feet above his hips and head and the more you put the board above your head the more difficult it is and the higher the score will come with it this snap here not a lot in it just really more of a directional change could change his 3.33 and add a few more points to his total and when i saw this match up um, and we were sitting there two days ago looking at the conditions of all who if we run today it's going to be a materis herde show Getting a bit hung up to start was Jack Robinson finding a right. Cleans up the snap quite well, and then drops down with the lip for the landing. And then the first right, you know, I think Jack was kind of, couldn't help himself when he saw a tapered right. He's like, okay, let's do this. And uh, maybe they will, ah, shoot, that's a hard one right there to say if that was made or not. If you watch the first maneuver there, nice and solid, digs his nose in there. Again, not a lot of spray out of the rail, which is, um, you know, considering the judges are pretty far away, um, you want to see that spray come off the rail. It's helpful to kind of accentuate the maneuver. But uh, four, six, seven for the way previous for Jack. And here we go. Good section. section. Big wall for Mateus going upside down on the first turn. <laughs> he's loving it. it. Feeding off the crowd. I like what he's doing there. I think it's a good idea to feed off that crowd and pump them up. Um, you're going to see that... Uh, they will respond to it. It's going to be helpful. You watch this first section here. Nice, big turn. Didn't throw a lot of water off the rail, which I would love to have seen. So there was actually really no spray on the maneuver. You can see he hooked it right up underneath. If he had just waited or gone a little further into the lip, well, it's a very narrow channel. So the water's moving out, which makes your board work differently than, say, even just riding left, you know, because you're actually getting a lot of pressure from the current. Backside snap complete for Mateos. There we go. Drives through a nice, clean finishing move to backhand hammers from Mateus Hurdy to build on his scoreline against Jack Robinson. And take a look at it. So right out of the gates, you can see much smaller wave. And again, these mm. turns are not necessarily in the lip. They're more in the face. That was more in the lip. So degree of difficulty. For all the Brazilian fans using that crowd cheer to their advantage, Jack with priority is going to make a move here. Backwash. And then a quick closeout forces Robinson to get out of there. Ten seconds to go. Jack Robinson has to make a move on this wave. Needs a 7.07. .07. The wall stretching out quickly. Bottom turns. First connection solid for Robinson. He's going to need some more. Big bowling section goes straight up and attacks the lip and rides away. Has he done it again? Degree of difficulty. Bigger waves are harder to do bigger turns, and he has done that beautiful first snap there. Uh, I was worried about where he's going to go with this, and he tacked it right on the final closeout section and pulls it down. Feels pretty good to me, Jack, but, uh, or sorry, Joe, but uh, I put myself out there and got squashed before, so I'm just going to wait for the judges. I enjoy when you just <laughs> lay it out lay there, it out there and, yeah. And most of these be wrong? No, you're always right. <laughs> I feel like do. you're right more than you think. Not always. But it's definitely going to be close for Jack Robinson, who's done this more times than we ever thought was possible this season. Well, World number like, two, still waiting for the number. Feels like, I mean, the quality of these two maneuvers are so good. You know, I mean, attacking the lip. He's doing his maneuvers in the lip. There's on a bigger set wave. Uh, wow. And 
again, those were the judges had a 6-8, a 7-5 as the high and the low. And then he averaged three extra scores, which were all sevens. Not enough. Incredibly close matchup in the wild card builds into the quarterfinals.